This will be a demonstration of how you can use Joomla and JFB Connect to push events to a user's timeline. We'll start by looking at this user's activity log, which shows no actions for the demo site we'll be using. If we go over to a test website that we've developed, we simply hit the login with Facebook, and this is the first time we're logging into this app, so these are the permissions that are required. The main one here is may post on your behalf, including articles you voted on, articles you've reviewed, and more, and we're going to show examples of all of those. So we log in, and once we're logged in, now we're in the home page. This is an easy blog extension right here, uh, which we've created a couple of blog posts on. This could just as easily be Joomla content articles, or K2, or any other extension. We click in here and we go into this new recipe. And while we're reading it, you'll see that JFB Connect will automatically add an action to the user's timeline. Additionally, we can rate this blog entry, say this is five stars. We can click a link and go over to see the actual recipe from this site. Say, ooh, this sounds like a great recipe. So now we enter a review about it using JReviews. And all these actions are going to get posted to the user's timeline, as you'll see shortly. So now we've shown examples of using EasyBlog and JReviews, and we'll move over to Jam Social where we can see other actions. First we'll go to Photos to upload a new image. And now we've uploaded a photo, which also will get posted to the timeline. And then we can go over to the actual group and join a user group and actually discuss these recipes or other events on the site with other users of the site. Now as you'll see we've done a lot of normal things that you could do on a website and the important thing is that all of these actions have now been entered into the user's timeline. We read an article, new recipe, we voted on an article, we reviewed the actual recipe itself, we uploaded a photo to our new album using JFP Connect, and we joined this group. All of these are actions that can go on a user's timeline users' friends can see and interact with, and each of these links will go to the actual site itself. So new users will be brought into your page and see what their friends are doing on your live website. One other great thing about the Open Graph integration in JFB Connect, there's a full activity log of all the different actions and activities that have taken place. You can see the user that did it, the object and the action that was taken, along with the URL that was associated with it. The promotional aspect is obvious, but if it's difficult to set up, it might not be worth it to do across your whole site. So let's give an example of how to set up one of these objects and actions. First we go into JFB Connect, we go into the Open Graph tab, we click on Objects, we select New, and from here we'll be setting up that all Jom Social groups will be an object type of group, which we've defined in our Facebook application for our website. So we'll set the object type to group, we'll publish the action, we save and close that, go back over to Open Graph, we go to Actions, and now we want to create a new action that can be taken on that group. For instance, Join Group. Join is the action the user takes, we're going to publish it, we say what object that we've created it's associated with, and then how many times or how often the user is allowed to do this action. So we only want them to be able to join the group one time or at least post that to their wall one time. So we say one time only. Save. And that's it. We now have a new action that we can post to a user's timeline.